Good morning everybody, or good evening as you're watching this, but it's good morning for me. It's that time of year again. I'm super excited. Me and Karen are doing our annual Christmas decorating shopping and last night, as I'm filming this, was Halloween. <laughs> but it's the 1st of November today, so it's time to go shopping. So, you might have seen last year's video the year before. Is this our third year or is it our fourth? I think it's my third YouTube video and possibly our fourth time to do it. So we go to all our cute garden centres and we go Christmas decorating shopping. And like we don't buy loads because, you know, we already have what we kind of need. Um, but it's that time of year again. It's more so like a cosy day out because we go to like all of these cute garden centres. So I'm going to meet her in the Malahide one for breakfast. Then we go to the next one and we'll have tea. Then we go to the next one. So it's more so just like a fun, cozy day out. Um, so what I'll do is you guys are coming with me. Um, now I'm going to use my phone to vlog just while I'm out in the shops because I don't want to be carrying around a big camera. So if the quality isn't great, I apologize. But when I come back, I'll show you what I bought. And I'll also have the chat with you because um, I'm working on something at the moment and I love your guys kind of like feedback and um, so we'll have to chat after but first my belly is empty <laughs> I need some breakfast so let's go and meet Karen and get this Christmas shopping on the road <laughs> First up on our list of places to visit was the garden house in Malahide. We stopped here for our breakfast and then we headed over to Jones's Garden Centre as well for a quick look before we headed to Home Sense. I'm not used to filming off my phone. I don't know where to look. Yay! Yay Christmas shopping! <laughs> we're now back in one car because we were two cars for a while. And we are now at Home Sense. And we're going to do Home Sense, then we're going to do Newlands, and then we're going to do Johnstown. Johnstown. And then I think a cup of tea in Johnstown. Oh, Karen's running people Sorry, over. I'm like people. A cup of tea in Johnstown and then the orchard because nice. that's beautiful. But you know what? The drive from Johnstown to the orchard is a real like autumnal drive. Oh, it is. It's really nice. So I already got one thing. You got puny snacky thing. Yeah, like little candle holders and little sprigs of berries. I got something that's not even Christmassy. So got lots of info as well. Well, the car packs are mad to see. It's midterm. Right. Let's go home since. <laughs> we headed over to the Newlands Garden Centre in Clondalkin and this does have my personal favourite Christmas tree decorations. They always have different styles and something different to the other ones as well. 
After Newlands, we headed over to Johnstown where we caught some lunch and some amazing apple cake as well. And I love Johnstown because they have really good tiny houses. So if you're into collecting them, you'll find loads there. And then we finished off in the orchard over in Selridge. Look at my disheveled head. <laughs> I'm home. Um, it's now night time because the clocks have changed and it's winter and I'm waiting on my house to heat up. Um, will we have a little haul? I don't like showing things off when it's night time. You'll notice that I film in daylight in most of my videos. But you know what? Vlog styly. I'll turn the lights on and we'll have a little cosy um, haul. Let me brush my hair <laughs> and I'll be back to you. Hello, <laughs> I've got my Christmas mug, threw on a Christmas jumper, you know what, let's not resist it. It's, it's like November now, like, it's Christmas. So apologies about the lighting, I'm not used to kind of filming at night and that's like a craft light so it's really harshly bright. Um, I'll just do a quick chat um, <laughs> with what I bought, Bandy. I didn't buy loads, I was really good because I have enough. Um, I just bought pieces that I was like, you know what, I have space for them, they're really cute, um, and I went with them. Blondie has already climbed all over them to see what I got. I start with TK Maxx. I got this little guy, it was actually Karen who um, spotted this little chap in TK Maxx. He wasn't that dear. Oh, they put a sold sticker on the thing. I think he was 16 or 15 euros. 16? So he's cute. I thought he was quite like, I thought he was quite like luxury um, deer because she's like velvet, she's got gold legs, she's got a scarf and she's got like an acorn for her bum. So um, luxury, what's she blending? <laughs> she's trying to eat it. Okay, next up from Home Sense. I'm gonna have to do like a pan out shot for this one. Nutcrackers. So I don't have any of these and I've kind of wanted them for ages and I recently saw somebody He's so big, I have to. It's <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of freaky. <laughs> so yeah, I got two of them. I notice I tend to buy things in pairs. So I got this one who is much bigger. I'll do a kind of like full size shot. I'll put him back. And I got him a little pal. I got a smaller one and I got them because I like the color of them because I've kind of like lighter toned Christmas items. So I got, yeah, he's just as creepy. I got this fella um, and his pal. The little ones, is he 26? Oh, see they post all stickers on the prices. Yeah, the little guy was 26. Um, of all of the Nutcrackers, Home Sense and TK Maxx is the cheapest. The Garden Centre's Nutcrackers were much dearer. And they're pretty much the same, they're like wooden chaps. I would go to Home Sense and not get a Christmas candle. I don't know if you can see, it's like a Christmas kind of scent. 
it smells really nice. Christmas tree farm, three ninety nine. I recently actually did a collab with TK Maxx um, and when I was in the TK Maxx, oh my god, the candles and loads of them were like 3 99 I got my mum one. So yeah, it ain't Christmas without oh, a smelly candle. If you hear a bag, Blondie is getting into the bag because that's what she does. Okay, next up, when I went to Newlands Garden Centre. I got these little hedgehogs. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you'll know, like sometimes I'll share the wild hedgehogs that are, like visit me in the garden. So when I saw these little hedgehogs, I was like, oh, I have to get them. Of course, I got a his and hers, or mammy and baby. Um, I had to get the pair. So I think they'll look cute. You probably get away with having these up all the time. Um, I think these will look cute in the living room or I have pieces from last year that's that white tone and I think they look super cute. All I got was like lots of faux flowers. So you might have noticed in some of the clips of the shops that some Christmas trees were like gold but there was pops of burgundy in them. I noticed that this year. I don't know if it's like a trend. I don't like style my tree to a trend but I did notice that some of the gold, rose gold toned trees had burgundy in them. And if you remember last year, I changed up my Christmas tree from like red and traditional to kind of more goldy, pinky because I got like new couches. So I decided to get these because these are the same tone as that room. So I'm gonna put these in the Christmas tree. This one was from Johnstown. I only got three of these because they're quite fancy. I'm thinking like one, two, three. And then I got more of these because these are only like 2 50 each. And I got these in Johnstown. So these were Newlands and this was Johnstown. Um, so yeah, faux flowers for the tree. I have baubles and stuff that are these tones from last year. So I think these will look cute. Then I just got this sprig to add to, if you remember my mantle, um, I had this really nice garland I got in last year's video. Um, I thought this would be nice to put around for texture. It reminds me of um, like cherry blossoms. Um, I just think it's really cute. This wasn't expensive, I think it was 12 euro for this sprig. But again, something that's not overly Christmassy. Um, so I really like that. So that is my Christmas haul. Not too big, I was quite good. It, Made me want to just come home and put up your Christmas decorations, but I'm going to have to hold out for a little bit. So, I have a mini announcement. Well, it's not really an announcement, but this week's video obviously is up. But next week, I will have no video. And I never miss an upload. But I am working on something at the moment, which I don't know if it's gonna be a hit, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So basically I'm filming an online course like to share with you and I need the time to film it because I obviously, I have a job, a day job and I can't do everything. And I was like, okay, I can miss a week on YouTube if it means, you know, I'm creating something. Um, so I had to free up my time um, to film this course. So I'm hoping to have it launched in December. It is going to be sewing related. So I'm gonna put a little email um, sign up in the description box, I'll pop it into the comments. So if you would be interested in doing a sewing related online course that I have created, um, just sign up because then at least I know you are gonna be interested. So anybody is interested in the course, I will give you guys like first kind of you know like discount I will give you like the exclusive because I'd rather sell to people who I know that's going to be genuinely interested in it so if you are just sign up with your email then I'll know and I can send you links and discounts nearer the time once I have it created. I've worked on a couple of things I've been working on I've been like working on like little pdfs and downloads and stuff and what I have to do now is just film the content um, so fingers crossed I get it done. I really want to have a soft launch in December because um, it's something that I've been asked and requested to kind of do. Um, so I'm going to try it. I've been learning a lot. It has been a struggle um, because I'm trying to, you know, making an online course is not so much, making the content is probably the easy part but then you have to figure out how to put it into a platform 
package it and when it's just me like I don't have someone who edits for me or whatever but it has been a learning curve so I yeah I'm I'm glad I'm doing it um so yeah if you want to sign up I'll put the thing in the description box so that's me for this week I will be back let me check the date is it the 21st so I won't have a video on the 14th I will be back the 21st but I have so many videos, lads, there's like over 150, I think there's like 170 videos at this stage. So I'm sure you can scroll through the archives and find something old or maybe watch my Christmas video from last year. I'm sure you'll find something. So I will see you all on the 21st and maybe we'll have a Christmas decor video because I don't know how long more it can last without getting these, these bad boys up. <laughs> so I'll see you then. If you're new to my channel, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you then.